Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we use some views using Android. View means tools. The tools are called views. In the previous video, we have tried one view, which is the text view. The text view is used to display some data. Okay, so if you need to delete this view, right click and select delete. Now, from the text, uh, from the text tab, you can write or use the plain text. The plain text is an edit text. The edit text is used to enter some data. We have many types of edit text. Plain text to enter any type of data, password, specific for password, email, phone, and so on. So if you need to try some simple example, which is used to give the total of two numbers. So I'm going to use the number. So I will drag and drop the number view. Okay, here it is. Then I'm going to define some vertical space and also from this circle, I'm going to define some horizontal space. Then I will put it anywhere. Okay, of course, if I need to remove this one, I can remove it. Now, so this is a text. To use it in Kotlin, you should give it some IDs. The ID is the programmatic name for a view, so you can call it from Kotlin. So here, in the ID, I will call it for example, num1. For example, I will call it num1. If I need to add some hint for this edit text, I can write here, enter number, for example. For example, enter number. You will see here, enter number as a hint. Let's again add another one. So I'm going to drag another edit text. Also, I'm going to define the horizontal space. What about the vertical space? I will connect this edit text to the another edit text. So it will define some space between two edit text. Also, for ID, I will call it num2. Then, for hand, also, I will write enter number. Now I have two edit text. I will write here, for example, five, then here seven, then I need a button to click on it. So from the widget, there is a tool or view called button. I will drag this button, and also I'm going to define some vertical and some horizontal space for this button. I will connect this button to the second edit text for vertical space, Okay, and for horizontal space, I can use one edge only. Okay, for this button, okay, I will not change the name of the ID for this button, but to change the text inside this button, I will write here, for example, sum. Okay, I will write something like sum inside the text attribute. Okay, the last thing, how can we write some code for this activity? Now we need to go to the Kotlin file. You can go to it from here or from the first folder inside Java. Here, this is the main activity. Double click and yes, you are now in the Kotlin file. So in the Kotlin file, each activity is extends by default from the app compact activity class. And this default function on create means if you need something to be created by default when you load this screen. So I'm going to put the cursor here and I will write button. Button, this is my button and select enter in the keyboard. Look here, this line or this package is created by default when you add any one from the XML views. So not like Java, you don't need 
to define variable and call it. Just put some ID for the view and call it directly from Kotlin. So I will write button dot set on a click listener. This one with the curly bracket. This means if you click on the button, if you click on the button. So what the result you need if you click on the button? I will define two variables, var x with data type integer, okay, equal num1, which is the first in the text, dot text, the two string, which means the string typed inside this edit text, I need to convert it dot to integer. So any text passed to this edit text will be converted to, to integer and stored in the variable x. The same thing with the num2. I will define another variable, which is y, and here it will be num2. Then I will define the third variable var z as integer equal x plus y, equal x plus y. How can we output the result? I'm going to use the toast. The toast is a message alert to give you some output. So I will use this line toast dot make text. The first variable is the activity or the context you are inside. So I'm going to write this. You can write either this or the name of your activity, main activity dot this. Okay, so now I'm going to use this. Okay, look here, don't write context, it is by default. Then, after you write this, what's the output of this example, which is Z? So I'm going to say the result is plus Z. Okay, the last thing is the duration. So you can select either short duration or length or long duration. I will select here length long. And the last thing is char. So the toast use two function, the make text to define the message, which consists of three parts, the context or the screen, the message itself, and the duration of this message, either length long or length short. Then the show is used to give the result on the screen. Let's try this example. Run. OK. Because my emulator is already opened, it will install this app inside this emulator. It will take some time. Here, it will show you the, pro uh, the progress of installing this app. Yes, as you see here, enter number and enter number. Let's try here, for example, five. And here, for example, six. And I will call the sum button. So click on the sum button. Yeah, the result is 11. Let me change some number, for example, to three. Click on sum, the result is it. So in this video, we have talked about how can we use either text, button, and toast in Android. See you next video.